What's up my single chads and toxic gamers today? I'm coming at you with top 20 games that are coming out very soon and guess what we got Call of Duty 2024 on the list and we're gonna get right into it Consider this to be like a gaming podcast as well Where we're gonna talk about what's happening the games because we got new information about GTA 6 as well The next Battlefield game the next Call of Duty game and you know Skull and Bones recently came out from Ubisoft and Ubi Snooze has been saying that that game is quadruple A like bruh I, I, I like somebody shoot me down right now. We're, we're gonna be bonding together as well. Let me send you some kisses. Come here, boo boo. Come here, and we're gonna be checking out some new games as well. Let's get into it and uh, let's see what we got. So, our first game is what the hell? You might get looking like Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad. So, it's called The Indica. And, guys, recently I've been re watching Breaking Bad. How many of you guys have watched Breaking Bad? If you have not, I highly recommend it, man. In the beginning, it's kind of slow, but then it's like, you know, it's very, very good. Okay, what the hell? And, and, and truly, though, like, what is that one game you're deadass looking forward to? If you find one good game from the list, comment below. We have a nun just running around, like, god damn. You can push out of your house and then out of the monastery. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I've never right seen chance, this game. Before. You were to kill someone and go to jail sooner or later, you get pushed out of there as well. <laughs> so where now? Huh? Huh? So many options. <laughs> okay, pods. What are we thinking right now? WL Banger or you caught the erectile dysfunction? The next game is uh, Gear 6. It's coming out fall 2024 and 2025. Uh, rumor for PlayStation, but nobody knows, man. Is it gonna happen? Is it not? Because Phil Spencer has been flip-flopping a lot recently. So considering bringing these two big games to PC and PS5. Yes, this might be really happening. It's not a small little rumor, but something everyone should know about. An Xbox Insider revealed that work on the next Gears of War game seems to be picking up steam after a couple of interesting errors that were made by Damn, the developer. Okay. The Coalition, the next Gears of War game, which will be the series' sixth mainline entry, is rumored to bring some big changes to the franchise, going full on open world with its campaign and adding ambitious missions that will completely change the franchise, which they say will be in a good way. That uh, open world WRL, because we're hearing the same about Call of Duty, which we're gonna get into in just a second. And the collection to be very big and playable for everyone. So they're putting all efforts on making the best experience on all consoles and PC. Okay. And this game is coming from the creator of Bioshock. This one is called Judas. Okay. Judas. Uh, it feels like that Judas is gonna be having a lot of bundas, man. I believe that. Yeah. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna have like some bundas and crap like that. But guys, GTA 6, man. New information. Apparently, the game is getting delayed though. It's not, uh, because previously Take Two did say fiscal 2025, but without mentioning 20, uh, without mentioning GTA 6, right? And fiscal 2025 ends by the end of March. So next year, you know, April, uh, March 31st, that's when it ends. And the way they said it, it felt like that GTA 6 was happening, man. And they come out, they done a new investor call, and during that stream, they apparently said, well, it's gonna be calendar 2025. So it feels like that it's gonna be delayed by a couple of months, but technically they never really announced the release date. So you cannot say quote unquote like delay, if you know what I mean, right? But they said fiscal 2025 during their earnings call prior without mentioning GTA 6, but they alluded to GTA 6 and they meant GTA 6. Come on now, man. They said that they're gonna be making eight billion dollars. Now they're saying they're gonna be making seven billion. Um, you know, and uh, it's gonna be calendar 2025 and they also said in May they're gonna give us like more information and their full plan uh, of the future in May in May and I will surely be streaming that investor call so definitely subscribe if you're brand new 
Next up, we have Call of Duty Black Ops Call of War, which thanks to InsiderGaming.com, these legit industry insiders have leaked the premise of this next game coming this year. This year, Call of Duty is set to embrace an open world campaign in Black Ops Call of War. Insider yeah. Gaming has learned. Call of War's <laughs> campaign has been built from the ground learned. up rather than using assets from previous entries. Currently, the game's open world will see the player and their squad navigate the map more akin to that of Far Cry than anything we've seen before in the Call of Duty universe. Universe. Mm -hmm. Players will be able to utilize vehicles to get around as well as using a fast travel system to get from one point to the next. Although the scope of how many linear missions there will be remains to be seen, sources confirm that some linear missions will be integrated into the game. The campaign, uh -huh. developed by Raven Software and the multiplayer and zombies to be handled by Treyarch Games, will see the return of some Black Ops characters including Adler, who will be part of your team. The That's game is currently forecasted to release in October 2024. My name. Yo, uh, Adler is a W character, I agree. Okay, so the next game is called The Altars. All my this choices one. led me to this place. It's coming out on literally all when the I platforms. Took this job, I thought like things would take a different turn. Okay. Well, ironically, they did. Bruh. Yo, homeboy looking like Noah J456 a little bit, right? But thoughts on Call of Duty 2024. Not. And I was brought here by the other Jan just Let's because watch this he didn't know how to fix his own shit. My name is Jan. I chose the path of science. And now I'm stuck with these feather-brained versions science, of myself. Biage. My name is Jan. I lost everything. But here I am in a body that does not belong to me. Oh, my damn. name is Jan. I've sacrificed my entire life for Lena. And now it turns out she's not even my wife. Yeah, I'm telling you, once uh, she gets the BBC, it's never coming back. Once she goes black, you know what I'm, what happens then. She can never come back, guys. Uh, BBC is a crazy thing, man. BWC, eh, a little bit, but BBC, once she goes black, bro, no comeback ever. It'll be like that, man. I, I feel you. I feel the pain, man. She out here cheating around. We got Sega's out here cheating in video games. She out here catching new Pokemons out there. Like every day it's like a new flavor, you know? Let 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 me catch up a new Pokemon. That's basically what she's doing out here. And I just want my life back. Damn, he homie just want his life back? Yeah. You got Dr. Disrespect like mustache. Yo, everybody's Which one? Like, yeah, everybody's like looking like him. It's like multiple personalities kind of thing. This game is uh, Indiana Jones. Coming out fall 2024. Rumored for PlayStation 5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see why he's saying that because you know there are rumors going around that we might get Xbox games. Phil Spencer is about to make an announcement soon as well. And we're gonna find out what happens. Either it's gonna or not. What we're hearing is that some games will and some games won't. And some games probably not day one, but probably like months later or a year later. This guy looks like Nathan Drake. Like let's be real. A lot of people are seeing those similarities. Let's uh, but Call of Duty 2024, right? Like Adler coming back. That's a W. I think that was a good character. But open world missions for Call of Duty, guys. Yes. WL, what you thinking, man? The next Battlefield game History. probably not happening till 2025. Sadly, I guess still it's still possible for this year, but very unlikely, I would say, because EA did not say anything more than Thousands that they're working on the game. Uh, and like two weeks ago, I, I believe almost uh, at this point, they said they're working on the next game. So there's that. Indiana Jones, I gotta say, like looking kind of odd. It's looking kind of odd, and that's what I said initially. But then they. Then they came out and they said that they're making this game for modern audiences and modern audiences uh, basically mean gay, you know what I mean? The LG TV stuff and all that, so... Uh, the, so the game might be woke. I mean, the problem is not like the LG TV stuff, that's like, okay, if you're LG TV part of that, okay, you do you, right? Like, <laughs> that's that's fine, okay, you do you. But the, 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 the thing is that, like, they are gonna be forcing, like, a lot of well, woke, woke crap uh, in the game. And everything woke turns to be crap. I mean, how many times that happens, right? Like Starfield, prime example recently, right? Like that game was made by woke devs as well. And it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. This game obviously going to have a lot of controversy, I think. Probably not as much as uh, something like Starfield, right? I don't think it's going to be too bad. And it's looking good. To me, it's looking good, uh, honestly. But I'm not sold yet. It's looking kind of odd. But you feel what I'm saying, right? It's looking kind of odd only. It's not looking mind-blowing. And a lot of people got mad over the fact that 
they say it's being made for modern day gaming audience gravity right here look at that my guy be jumping Bruh. right there like gravity come on Patron come on man of the fallen angels protector of the what sure. hey yo what remind me oh damn the great circle. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Great Circle Jerk? What? Bruh. You have any idea how old that was? Uh. Oh, here we go again. It has been a really long while since we have heard of oh, this extremely <laughs> ambitious upcoming game, but the big, big rumor, the Fan Fantasy game, is back at it again, and it seems it's being told this game yeah, will game start the next generation of gaming and open a bigger, more unique future for Rockstar Games. Guys, mm. Project Medieval, that super ambitious open-world medieval GTA-inspired project from Rockstar themselves that leaked a couple of years ago, I think in 2018, is actually back in the news right now as we yeah. speak. And I'm I'm still not quite sure what to think of it of all these weird rumors that pops out of nowhere just like right now. It's are they just using the Rockstar eye? Man got like bubble music playing and the devil music playing in the background. Like bruh. we talk about, there's been so many theses and rumors about this project, yet nothing substantial that totally 100% confirms that it is real and happening. It was thought to have you explore a massive and immersive open world a la Rockstar style, featuring sprawling cities, dense forests, treacherous mountains, and ancient dungeons. The open world itself was a breathing world with a day and night cycle, seasonal hey. changes, and dynamic weather, with NPCs, whether it be normal or dangerous NPCs, having yeah, their this own game schedules looking hella good, and good, First started What's the with name? a very special LinkedIn post by a I believe it's Crimson Desert, if I'm not mistaken, right? It does look very Games good. India employee. As of May 2018, Powers had a now deleted post showing up the projects that he was working on at Rockstar. He is working on a to be announced IP in the prop slash environment part of it, and that is exactly where it gets interesting. What he was doing, or what he's still doing right now, is creating game ready models from scratch for props that may be crucial for gameplay. He is creating modular environment pieces with. And this rumor is so old at this point and i remember when it first came out like seconds were like oh man we're not getting gta 6 oh hell no nah, bro we ain't getting gta 6 i remember when that rumor first came out i'm not sure if they're gonna still because how many times you hear projects and these seconds like cancel them like agent prime example leaked out through like gta 5 source code recently as well and we learned that gta 5 single player dlcs were uh, were removed and uh, they kind of because of gta online success right and some of them actually showed up in gta online for example franklin dlc and alongside that we also ended up getting leaks about the agent game we, we knew about the agent game for a while but we ended up getting like artwork leak for the agent game and it's like damn bro they worked on it but we ain't getting it no more so this could be one of those games that we, we might never see though or we might see right after gta 6 but if we do see right after gta 6 this one is called space marine 2 september 9 2024 sony ponies ps5 uh xbox uh, xbox and pc god damn Th this game looks very very good to me honestly just because of the how alive it feels uh, wait for it you're gonna see like what i mean in, in a second but uh but yeah man like i i think Medi project medieval if it's like really real it's probably gonna happen five six years easily after gta 6 so if gta 6 seriously comes out in 2025 because right now it kind of feels like that it might get delayed okay to be honest though like it can get delayed to 2026 even hopefully not but let's say 2025 right uh, hopefully fingers crossed you know hopefully mate uh because gaming is dry as hell right now bro then uh six years after that's like 2031 like holy shit though you know what i mean you imagine getting a new rockstar game uh, in 2030 very normal that's like very normal i'm being generous when i say 2031 it can be beyond that right and i know some of you are like hey man i want uh, uh, i want that i want that i want the red dead redemption 3 man i want the red Reden red dead redemption 4 gta 7 guys forget about it okay after gta 6 it's kind of joe over bro like after that game i think it's kind of like dunzo man i don't think we're ever gonna get uh, or easily we gotta wait like six to seven eight years maybe even perhaps ten years i wouldn't say ten years that's like way too much uh but for a new gta game easily gonna be like 10 to 20 years before we get it because they they're gonna be dropping like some other they want to drop other games in between gta games too right 
I think uh, once GTA 6 releases, it's kind of over for us to see like another GTA game. Sadly, that's how it works, guys. They're, uh, but and for their next game, easily like six to seven years, and they might not even drop Project Medieval. Personally, I would love to see Alan War 2. Where are you guys at with that? Alan War 2, W L Banger Snoozer, or you caught the erectile dysfunction when you played it? Hopefully not. Look at this game! Holy crap! You know what I mean? I remember first seeing it and I didn't like it that much, but then I got to this point, I was like, she, she. I started liking it, and now I'm like, damn, kind of looking odd though. Still not sold on the fact that I'm going to buy the game? Probably not. And truly though, what is that one game you're going to buy from the list? Let's be real. Minus Call of Duty, because you might say, like, hey, I'm not going to buy Call of Duty, I'm not, but you're probably end up, you're going to buy it. I, to be honest, like, I skipped on Modern Warfare 3, that's the first game I skipped on. That's the first Call of Duty game I skipped on ever since I got hooked on Call of Duty, right? Because, like, Call of Duty ain't the same. But Call of Duty 2024, I'm probably gonna, like, I'm gonna give it a chance and uh, wait for the news. I mean, if the game turns out to be bad, I'm ready to skip again. But we got Halo 6. Guys, this is all coming from direct sources We're gonna get back to it one sec. Insiders. Xbox is rumored to soon be moving away from console development and go into the age of third-party publisher. They might release a new Xbox console in the near future, but that will be it after it. That means Damn. it's games like Halo. Yeah, these are rumors going around right now. Not official, but rumors. Yeah. Soon with this new game. Fans From have FTC, spotted two believe, different right? job descriptions on LinkedIn that suggest three for two industries has worked on to be honest, the rumors are directly coming from Xbox themselves. Oh, uh, we, we heard about that during like FTC and Activision court battles. But recently, they said that they're still working on it, but it might be cloud only, guys, sadly. These with each sequel. They eventually worked as a game director on Elo Infinite. His profile currently says they worked on Elo's next unannounced release as an art director between April 2022 and March 2023. What? There's also a senior character system designer for 343 Industries since 2019. Their job description mentions oh, dang, work son. on player systems and assets in Unreal Engine 5 for Halo. If you didn't know, the next Halo title is expected to be built on Unreal Engine 5. 343 is dropping its own engine to go into Unreal to bring in all the... Yeah, man, like, uh, no hit towards, like, uh, the fans, but, like, damn, bro. Like, the Halo, like, the graphics were really, really bad, bro. Graphics are not everything, but, guys, let's be real. So, this one is called Rise of the Ronin. Graphics are not everything. Gameplay matters story matters progression matters more but halo apparently people are saying it got none of that or it had none of that right now i guess people are loving it and that's cool but halo is one of the the biggest like xbox title that game needs to be good bro that's like the biggest title and they put so much money so much time into it and when it came out it looked like worse than last gen consoles right and a lot of people criticize and i guess rightfully so and i truly do believe that like graphics are not everything but when your first party exclusive the biggest exclusive that you got that's gonna be a console seller if that's not looking good then i mean what are you doing right so i, I hope the next one is good I think Unreal Engine 5, that's a good decision. Although I have said it before, and truly though, like every game in Unreal Engine 5 looks kind of like the same, same-ish. So that's when we have this uh, gamer fatigue and every game, when especially when every game looks the same. I don't know, how you guys feel about it, right? Like with Unreal Engine 5, amazing tech though. Got nothing bad to say other than the fact that every game start to look the same, same, and then we have this kind of problem where, uh, you know, it doesn't feel like new. So I hope it doesn't have that. But Unreal Engine 5, other than that, good choice that they're going with that. Uh, I think they uh, they should uh, up the graphics of their exclusives. And the, the leaks are saying the next Xbox is going to be cloud streaming only, though. That's just the rumors. Might not be true though. Might not be true. I gotta re-emphasize it, but that's what we're hearing. And Microsoft truly like, like they they are three trillion dollars. They don't really care. They're about streaming and services. So it kind of makes sense because they're like a software company, right? And that's a that's a future we're headed to. Maybe not in five years, ten years. Microsoft hello uh, surely wants to, but let's just say the rumor turns out to be false, right? I hope it does. Because we still need hardware consoles, man. We need hardware. Uh, technically, what we're hearing is that it's going to be a hardware console, but streaming only. Bruh. But we want hardware and uh, physical media, let's just say, okay? But make no mistake, guys. Like, uh, 10, 20, 30 years from now, 
that's where we're headed. Like, come on, man. Like, the writing is on the wall, right? Thoughts on that real quick? This one is John Wick game. The actual stages of development in some shape or form. And we've got every single details on it, including an exclusive rumor from a source of mine on who might be its developers taking the ring of this John Wick experience. Now, if you didn't know, this ambitious John Wick game was already in the talks months and months ago. In 2022, during an earning calls of Lionsgate, for example, which Lionsgate owned the John Wick IP, where it said that executives at the film studio have been fielding proposals for a new video game based on the Keanu Reeves action series. Rumors included the developers of combat games Saifu, Ubisoft, and Remedy. This would have to be a truly big AAA game, the executive Damn. said. But at that time, they shied away from sharing any further specifics due to the pending nature of the discussions. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we believe there is a big AAA I mean, game to be ourselves, made bro. out of John Wick, they said. We have been fielding proposals. We certainly are are interested in moving that forward but I don't want to say anything more about that at this time. Uh -huh. Now uh -huh. today we uh -huh. finally have confirmation that this new John Wick game is coming and that they're actively taking pitches from gaming developers around the what? world and every single- Actively taking B? B like the, 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 the female dogs? Like- Devs the has bitches? a lot of enthusiasm around the IP. I, I should not be saying that word on YouTube. Like that's why I'm hesitating right now. Okay, so next up is Metro. We will Ford. follow the story of Metro Exodus. There's been a new Metro game that has been announced recently, titled Metro Awakening, but it is only on VR and not the continuation. I of think you meant pictures, story. right? Though, like it has the spent pictures, like click, click. where the next major entry in the series is and what it's going to look like. Following hey. the reveal of Metro Awakening, it was confirmed that the next me major Metro title is still being worked on. For a games its developers have said that development continues separately at 4A games on the next mainline installment of the Metro series and, and will bring in the best possible experience with new animations, new graphics, new gameplay elements, new missions, and a world truly brought to life thanks to Unreal Engine 5. Earlier in 2023, Insider Gaming reported exclusively on the state of play for whatever is coming next, but it was just a small confirmation that a playable build was sitting in the hands of 4A games for this new Metro. Most of the game is ready as we speak, it's just a matter of fixing the bugs and finding the perfect time to reveal it to the world. I'm super excited because it's rumored to be some kind of Metro Exodus continuation which will mean a semi-open world game. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this one is called Ferocious, this one is coming out fall 2024. Hey everyone, my name is Leo and I'm the lead developer of a new action adventure game Ferocious. Oh man, I... I began working on Ferocious a few years ago with the idea of creating a first person shooter. Yeah, I got scared. I, I got scared when he started. All the top talking. action with exploration and a sense of wonder. I was like, that doesn't sound like the homie Mass Chief, you know? But not bad, honestly, though. We were always inspired by mysterious places frozen in time. Thoughts? That you may have seen in movies like King Kong and Jurassic Park. We aim to marry the setting and unique gameplay opportunities with classic first person shooter mechanics, similar to early installments of franchises like Far Cry and Crisis. Oh, damn, the sure. flexibility of the Unity engine allows us to create unique solutions to some of the environmental features, such as custom water effects and realistic vegetation. Oh my god! Yo, I feel like that I'm dead. Use a right mix now, of photo scanned and handcrafted assets to create a world both scary and beautiful. However, I'm kinda dead, there are bro. some things waiting for you in the jungle that we couldn't find any reward references for. Okay. So we had to improvise. Yo, damn. Okay, that game looking hella good, actually. And I hope we are you guys are as excited as I am. Feel free to wishlist and follow the game on Steam. The story of Squadron 42. This one is uh, Squadron 42, rumored for 2024, PC only. Come on, bro! And, and recently there are rumors, not even rumors, like, they reveal ARC 2, right? ARC 2 survival with the Vin Diesel family, you know what I mean? Fast and Furious. Uh, man, they butcher Fast and Furious 10 so bad, bro. Like, I'm a fan of Fast and Furious, bruh. And, and they killed the franchise so bad. They did it so dirty, bro. And Vin Diesel is back. And apparently we're getting Ark Survival 2. We ended up getting a CGI but trailer, but other than that, nothing really. No good. We can't hack it from this side. Graves? We got a locked door. Can you give us access? No, I'm nope. afraid that's a negative, Steve. That's a negative, Steve. I would have to add you to our system to give you override permissions and uh, Bruh. Uh, another space and game caught. We'll Banger? Or you caught okay, the erectile we'll dysfunction? <laughs> Oh my Everything god! Everything you see during okay. the campaign has been heavily inspired by the classics of 70s and 80s sci-fi, but with a modern twist. 
We want everything you see to feel like it has a soul, its own personality, and tells of a history long before you arrived. Sheesh! Space games, uh, L or Ws? How do you guys feel about it? Crafting interesting flight spaces and their connecting tissue has been one of the more unique challenges we've needed to overcome for Squadron. Developing our VDB tech to blend seamlessly between tighter traversal spaces and into wider space vistas and planets uh -huh. has proved incredibly difficult but rewarding. Ensuring that Squadron flows seamlessly from one chapter to the next oh, damn, without son. interruption. Da -da damn, son! Damn! With the aim now on polish, we've organized the project into self-sufficient strike teams so we can focus on individual areas to deliver the best experience. I mean, not looking too bad, but but not sol assault yet. Like, I don't know what it is, but Realistic we're really not gaming depression. You just feel like that we're really Alongside not gaming depression or what? Improved FPS radar and scanner that provide you an overview of the battlefield but at the cost of ramping up your own emissions. Yo, the, they also We've got destruction, also like my god. Of our maelstrom powered, destructible environment. Battlefield really is down bad. They need to make a comeback. Alongside our improved AI, that can now have hundreds of combinations of traits that allow us to create unique, Holy. challenging combat encounters Bullet soul? that really push your tactical awareness and skill. Or were they always there? Uh, I mean, I'm seeing Bullet Soul right now. Hey, what's this game? What's this game? Sun and Bone? I thought you were meaning like skull and bones. And uh, your thoughts on this one, real quick, guys? Skull and bones, apparently, according to Ubisoft, is a quadruple A game. Bruh. And they're yeah, quadruple A. GTA 6 is considered to be triple A. Skull and bones, quadruple A. <laughs> Ubisoft is saying that right now, and a lot of people are mad with that statement, and also with the game, and all people saying game is crap. Have you played it? What are your thoughts? I have not played it, so I cannot give you my opinion, but like... But damn! Another dinosaur game! Yo! We got little shits running. Thompson, okay. Ha! Cha 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 cha! Holy! Oh! Okay. This game is gonna be gameplay heavy. Survival, uh, survival action. Okay. Yeah, honestly, looking kind of, looking kind of odd though. Actually, like I would say the first game that's looking kind of dope, but still not sold though. Like, still probably not gonna end up buying. Bruh. Man, it takes a, it takes a lot to be convinced to buy something, right, guys? Am I the only one, or you guys are like, no, man, I buy everything I see. I buy everything I see. I don't know, man. I'm getting to the point where it's like... So far, I would buy no game other than Call of Duty. Because I have a channel about primarily about Call of Duty. And and I'm the same guy that did not buy Modern Warfare 3. And I'm telling you, man, if Call of Duty 2024 turns out to be really, really bad, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm willing, even though my channel, even though I can make a lot of money by uh, buying it, I, I could make a ton more money by buying Modern Warfare 3, but I just had enough. I was like, bro, like, I'm not even gonna play, play so why? Like, whatever, dude. So I didn't buy Modern Warfare 3 and I skipped on it. I'm talking about 2023 Modern Warfare 3. The original was brilliant. But, but I know at that time a lot of people were complaining about that. <laughs> Crazy, man. But it, obviously the complaints uh, weren't to this degree. A lot of people loved it then. Worse is now. Ob obviously, it's not to say that everybody's hating it right now. A lot of people love Call of Duty nowadays as well. But it's just not the same anymore. The numbers are down. Viewership on YouTube is down. People don't give a F about it. Interest is at an all-time low. I don't even think the interest was this low when Modern Warfare uh, Remastered came out alongside Infinite Warfare. I should just say Infinite Warfare right now. This one is called Project M. Yeah, this game is looking like... Chinese uh, GTA or Korean or Japanese. I mean, I'm having a hard time. I don't know uh, <laughs> I don't know how to differentiate. I think it's either Korean or Japanese. Any idea if you got any idea? And this game is looking hella dope actually. I think the quality of this video is not doing it justice uh, because I've seen like better version of the gameplay before and it's looking hella lit. I mean, this one is alright too. 
Don't get me wrong, but like uh, the 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 actual version is uh, like the game is looking promising. I I can say like uh, if I see a lot more from this game, then I might actually cop. Like this one truly, I might buy. I'm I'm hoping that Call of Duty 2024 zombies turn out to be good. I'm a big zombies fan. Modern Warfare 3 zombies snoozer, bro. Like snooze fest, man. I think zombies on Warzone, okay, do it. But like keep original maps too, right? Let brothers have pausing button. Let brothers play the game for longer than two hours, bro. Have a, let us have zombie crew too. This one is called Bears in Space, March 22nd. Holy! As somebody who did not play Fall World, it kind of looks like it. Time to boldly kill what no man has killed before. Nintendo be like, we're gonna copy strike you for copying Nintendo. Okay. Can you go ahead and kill them all before they hurt themselves? It's the only way. Okay, I wanna know what's the top game. Bruh. That was cool. Bruh. I don't know, man. Pots, WL, Banger, Snoozer, what you thinking? The House of Tesla? Wait, what? Okay, so this is number two on the list. What's number one? Uh, 2024 PC? Man, PC only? Come on, man. PC only? That's Snoozer, dog. Uh, and I'm saying that as somebody that has RTX 3090, okay? Bruh. So this is not a complaint in that aspect. But I guess it is what it is, right? Just like how uh, there are console exclusives, this is a PC exclusive. Uh, exclusive. Although I do believe that the dev wants to put it on PlayStation. It's, I'm assuming it's like an indie dev, so it's like a small uh, indie project. Might be a good game. Okay, so this one is called Sector 29. Oh, Vigilancer 2099. Yay! This is like the cyberpunk kind of game. Oh shit! Yay! Damn, homie. Damn, yo. What are we thinking about this game? WL, Banger Snoozer, caught the erectile dysfunction. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and uh, apparently Cyberpunk 2 is in development as well, guys. Uh, yeah, right? The next Cyberpunk game is in development. We heard that like almost two years ago at this point. Time flies like crazy. Holy crap. Or was it like a year and a half? Give or take, I guess, right? When is that game gonna come out? I mean, I kind of called it even when there was controversies. When, when I called it... And a lot of you probably called it too when there was controversy happening when they never officially confirmed it. Just because of the fact that everything that has negative press and everything that sells well, there's always like part two, you know? So it's not like a shocker or surprise. They turned the ship around, but this time I guess with Cyberpunk 2, they would really have to sell us the, the game like dead ass. Uh, I think this time a lot of people would be very skeptical in buying the next Cyberpunk game. And this one, I don't know if it's uh, looking that that good though. Thoughts? But guys, click on this video on the screen. This is the last episode we've done. We had 30 plus minutes of brand new gameplay of that game. This game, that game. Check it out. I'm not going to tell you the name. What if like we had GTA 6 in there? Oh, you know, I I'm just joking around. It's not. But, but we had crazy good games. Check it out and I'll see you right there.